Hello, my name is Colin and welcome to the Virtual DM. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to prepare an animated map for use in Fantasy Grounds Unity. Now, you may be wondering, what is an animated map? Uh, essentially, an animated map is a short clip of video that plays in a loop and gives you the appearance of a map that has motion and movement, um, a living map as it is sometimes referred to. So if we take a look here, I have uploaded an animated map. So we can see on this map, we've got some nice fire going in two locations here. Uh, the water is rippling down below. So that is an animated map. Again, essentially a video clip that is playing in a loop, uh, giving us a living map environment. Now, that is different than a static map that uses animated assets. Um, I have one here that I have prepared just to sort of show uh, what I'm talking about. So this is a static map. This map is a JPEG file, a static file. I have added animated assets to it, so we can see all the fires are burning here in the fire pits. That is an animated asset that's been added onto this static map. I have also added in sort of rippling water here on the edge, and over top of the entire map, uh, you can see snow is falling. So this is not an animated map per se. This is a static map that contains animated elements. Um, what we are going to be looking at today is how you can prepare an animated map uh, that is made up of a video clip for use in Fantasy Grounds Unity. Now you may be wondering where you can find animated maps. Uh, you can certainly do a Google search. Uh, you'll find lots of different options for a search for animated maps. I find that there are a couple of sources that are the best for finding animated maps and we'll take a look at those. So first here, I did a Google search for animated maps D&D on Patreon. And you can see lots of options have come up for animated maps that are available on Patreon. I do find Patreon is probably the best place to go to find animated maps right now. Um, if you are just doing a general Google search, um, most of the sites that you end up on will eventually take you back to Patreon sites uh, where you can pick up those videos, or sorry, those animated maps. So uh, save yourself some time, go straight to Patreon and uh, look for those. One thing you do have to be careful of when you are looking for animated maps is that they have to be in a specific format in order to work with Fantasy Grounds. Um, that format is a WebM file that uses VP8 codec, and preferably when loading these into Fantasy Grounds, you wanna remove the audio because Fantasy Grounds doesn't utilize the audio, and that just increases your file size overall. So when you are looking at these sites on Patreon, you just want to make sure you understand what type of file is being uploaded. And we'll take a look at that a little further later in the video. Uh, another place that you can go to for animated maps, uh, one that I personally use, is Dungeon Alchemist that is available on Steam. Um, so I'll just open up a map here. So here we have a map on Dungeon Alchemist. You can see we have some movement in the water down there. Uh, our fire is uh, animated. We've also got some animation here in this little graphic. So one of the nice things about Dungeon Alchemist is if we come over here to File and Export, if you look here in the format, we can actually download it for Fantasy Grounds Unity use. Uh, and that is going to make sure that it is in the correct 
WebM file format with the VP8 uh, codec being used. So initially, Dungeon Alchemist did not make maps available in VP8. They only made it in the VP9 codec. Um, but for Fantasy Grounds Unity users, they have now made that available in a VP8, which is fantastic. The third uh, option that you have is you can find um, video clips on YouTube that you are able to utilize as a Fantasy Grounds Unity map, animated map. Um, there is a little bit of work involved in getting those converted over so that they can be used uh, in Fantasy Grounds Unity. Um, I'll be covering that in a different video in the future. Um, but for now, you know, you can definitely go to Patreon. Lots of maps available there. Dungeon Alchemist, you can make up an animated map, download that for use um, in Fantasy Grounds Unity. Okay, before beginning uh, our preparations for uploading animated maps into Fantasy Grounds Unity, uh, there are a couple of programs that you're going to want to download uh, to make this process possible. Uh, one is going to allow you to more easily see what type of file formats are being used uh, in the particular files that you have, and the second uh, you will use to actually convert files into the proper file format with the VP8 codec. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head over, first of all, to uh, Media Info Download. So the Media Info is a, is a little program that you are going to use to easily see what the file types are, what the video formats are. Um, on the files that you have. And then you are going to want to go over to Handbrake Downloads and you're going to want to download Handbrake, uh, which is a video transcoder. That's going to allow you to switch up the file format, convert it to that WebM VP8 with no audio that you want to be able to use in Fantasy Grounds Unity. So Make sure you head over there, download both of those programs before you continue on in this process. Okay, so next we are going to want to actually prepare our animated map files for use in Fantasy Grounds Unity. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring up uh, some video files that I have. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the media info program uh, that we talked about that we got you to download and prepare earlier. So what this little program does is tell us some information about the file format so that we can understand if it's properly prepared for use in Fantasy Grounds Unity. So over here in my file folder, I have a couple of different versions of an animated map uh, that I want to show just so people can get a good understanding so you can get a good understanding of what the different types of file formats are and what we want to make sure we're getting to in the end. So here first of all we have our Swamp Cavern. Uh, this is actually a map from animated battle maps that you can find on Patreon. This particular version of this program is in the MP4 file format. So that will not work with Fantasy Grounds. So if I just drag that and drop it in my media info, we can see this is an MPEG-4, which is not going to work uh, with Fantasy Grounds. Uh, the video stream is encoded with AVC and it has an audio stream. So lots of things not working for us there with that particular version. I have a version here that is in the WebM file format. If I drag that over and drop that in here, so now we can see we do have a WebM file format, so that's good. But we can see that the video stream is encoded with the VP9 codec. 
and Fantasy Grounds will not work with the VP9 Kodak. It must be the VP8 Kodak. As well, we can see there is an audio stream and we want to preferably get rid of that audio stream uh, for any of the automated maps we're using in Fantasy Grounds because Fantasy Grounds does not use the audio file and it just adds to your overall file size. And we're always trying to make sure those file sizes are as small as possible. Next, I'm gonna look at uh, a version here that has been made almost correctly. So here we have a WebM, which is correct. The video stream Kodak used is VP8, but here we can see it still has an audio stream. And again, preferably, we don't want an audio stream in our animated map files we're using in Fantasy Grounds. And then finally, I have the correct version here, and that is a WebM file. It is using the VP8 Kodak. And now we can see below there, there is no audio file in place for this particular uh, file. So this is the correct format that we would want to use to upload into Fantasy Grounds Unity. All right, so next we're going to look at what is actually required to convert a file over so that it is ready for use in Fantasy Grounds Unity. Um, in this particular case, we're going to use this MP4 version of the animated map because that was the one that had the most issues, the one that is further from the M product uh, that we want. Again, WebM, VP8 Kodak, no audio track. So we're going to open up our handbrake here, and this is the program that we're going to use to actually convert things into that particular file format. So once the handbrake is open, we are going to left click on our file, drag it and drop it right into handbrake. The file will load into there. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is in summary, we are going to change the format to a WebM. We're gonna come over here to video. And for the video encoder, we are going to change that to VP8. And we're gonna to wanna to come over here to audio. And for the audio, you can see our audio file right here. We're just going to hit the clear button to remove that audio file. So that has everything set up the way we need it for uh, an animated maps use in Fantasy Grounds Unity. Check to see where your file is going to save, just so you're not searching your computer for it. Generally, by default, it's going to save that in your videos folder. So once everything is set up, you're just gonna come up here, you're gonna click on start encode, and that is going to convert it to the file type you have told with the correct Kodak, removing the audio track. Um, the, this particular file, when I converted it, it took about five minutes to convert over. Um, yours may differ depending on how fast your particular computer is. And one nice little tip here, come in and save this new preset so everything is already there. And that way when you can come in, you can just choose your Fantasy Grounds preset. You don't have to go in and make all the changes. Um, so once that file has downloaded, um, and it's going to be just like this one here, it's going to be a WebM file, VP8 Kodak, no audio, you'll be able to upload it into Fantasy Grounds. Okay, so our final step in this process is to actually upload our new file, our new animated map into Fantasy Grounds Unity. And to do that, we are gonna come over here to images, which will open up our images window. You're gonna come down to this little blue button to import. Uh, that will allow you to search for your file in your file system, wherever that may be. So we are going to upload this properly formatted uh, WebM VP8 with no audio file. We'll double click, double left click on there, and that's going to upload that map. 
and we have our animated map loaded into Fantasy Grounds. So that is all the process required to make sure we switch it over to the correct format, upload it into Fantasy Grounds. Uh, you'll still want to add a proper grid to this and share it with your players during the game. Um, I will leave a link just up here that allow you to see another video where you can learn to do those particular parts of the process. So that's it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like the channel, if you like the material, please make sure to give us a like, subscribe to the channel. Um, it helps us build the channel and let other folks know these videos are available. Thanks very much and happy gaming.